Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because it is my living room reveal. A lot of you guys have been asking if we are going to be doing a furnished house tour and while we will eventually, we are on a budget over here, so half of the house is very much unfurnished. So I'm gonna be doing things room by room, which I think will be a lot more in depth and fun for you guys to watch. So today is the living room and if you guys are familiar with my channel at all, you guys know that I'm really big on making things look Look high end on a budget so I'm gonna show you guys how I did exactly that in my living room I'm gonna show you where I got everything how much it was and I will try to link everything below for you guys and then we're gonna have some fun little styling tips sprinkled throughout so just keep in mind that I know styling is subjective and this is just what worked for me personally in my own home with my own style so I'm really happy with how it came out and I'm super excited to share it with you guys so if you guys are ready let's get into the video Okay, you guys, so first I wanna talk about our sofa and our coffee table. Both of these guys are from the Pottery Barn outlet, and that is one of my tips if you guys are located near an outlet, definitely utilize that. We are about an hour away, and it was definitely worth the trip for us because we got our sofa, our coffee table, and our dining room table all in one trip. So they have some really great discounted prices on this really great high-end furniture. For example, this coffee table was a $700 coffee table. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but we got it for $280 because it was one that somebody had returned. So so we really scored on that one. And then this sofa, we actually bought this half at the outlet and that was priced at $500. And then we just bought this other little um, left arm here. Then that was like $1,500. So all together, the couch was about $2,000. And if we would have paid full retail for this couch, it would have been close to $6,000. So I'm a really big believer in investing in your sofa above everything else, just because it is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Over time, it's something that can wear really easily. So you wanna make sure you invest in something that isn't going to you know, start sagging or the fabric isn't gonna start pulling because that automatically will just kind of kill the look of your living room in the first place. So if you guys are looking for one piece of furniture to invest in in the living room, I would definitely recommend investing in your sofa and your rug and your coffee table. You can buy those lower end and get those cheaper. There's a lot of great coffee table options nowadays for super cheap. They have lots of dupes on Amazon and stuff that still look very high end. And as far as your rug, in my personal opinion, rugs just wear really quickly and i know it, they say if you invest in a good rug it you know lasts longer but i'm sorry like i have a dog i just i cannot bring myself to spend so much money on a rug that is just me personally if you guys are rug people go for it but um we spent 200 dollars on this jute rug if i had to do it all over again would i get a jute rug i don't know but um, I really like the look of those like woven wool rugs. I think that's something I probably would have gravitated a little bit more towards, but we bought our rug before we were even in the space, which is a major no-no. I know I just kind of got excited on a Black Friday sale. So I got this jute rug, but I still think it does look really pretty. I love incorporating natural textures and materials into my spaces. So I think it does that and it does a good job and you know, it'll probably wear out in a couple of years and then I'll get to replace it. So. Okay, so moving over to the decor on the coffee table, as you guys can see, it's very simple. And I did that on purpose because our living room, kitchen, and dining room are all within the same area. So I didn't want to have too much going on to confuse the eye. And I'm a big believer in making statement pieces pop, but not kind of overwhelming the space with too much decor going on all over the place. So I wanted to keep it simple. And I just got this really beautiful um, candle display from... Home goods. If you guys saw it, it was in my home goods haul. So I really like how this just kind of sits here. It plays off of like the leather tones because it is a little bit more of an orangey wood. I like that it contrasts against this table. So I think that it looks really great in here. The only other thing that we have on here is these really pretty books and these are actually a DIY. So these were some faux storage books that I got at Ross and TJ Maxx and their pattern on top just like really didn't go with our space. So I decided to make them a bit more high end and neutral looking and I gave them a fresh coat of spray paint. I just kind of taped up the sides here to protect the faux page look. And then I spray painted what would be like the bindings and the covers. And I chose this white 
in light gray color. I think that it looks very high end. I love adding like neutral pieces in like this. So um, when I was done, I decided to put the names of two places that Mike and I really, really wanted to go. So it acts like a fun little bucket list as well as decor at the same time. Um, I use my Cricut machine, but if you guys don't have a Cricut machine, you can get some fun big stickers online or you could just leave them blank honestly because I feel like that would look really elegant and pretty as well. So I'll show you, these are great if you guys just wanna tuck away anything that's in your coffee table that you just don't want seen, like remotes, coasters, cards, stuff like that. Stuff that you use all the time, but you just don't want it kinda of like ruining the look or the vibe. It just is so easy to tuck all of this away in these really beautiful books and it is hidden, but it looks super elegant and high end at the same time. This is like honestly one of my favorite pieces in the room just because it's so beautiful and functional. I really, really like these and I think they look really pretty just kind of resting on the bottom of our coffee table. So as far as our pillow scheme here, I was just gonna originally go with like the light linen -y colors and then the navy, and then I kind of realized I need a little pop of something else. So I decided to incorporate these gorgeous suede pillows. These guys are faux suede. They are from Belk and they were only $25. I got them on a sale. They're normally like a $50 pillow, but Belk always is having sales. So I will link it below. Leather is a very high end material and it's very trendy right now. So it's definitely something that's fun to incorporate into your space through pillows or little accents. So, you know, eventually over time, if you get tired of it or you don't like it, then, you know, you can switch it out easily. But leather is a very classic material. So I thought that this would be a good investment and I really like how it contrasts against our navy sofa. It is kind of like a little complimentary color scheme that we got going on here. So I'm a big fan of these and adding that little leather accent in at the last minute. Okay, so next I just wanna talk about this little vignette in the corner here. So I kinda had this little awkward space left over from the sofa that I didn't really know what to do with. So I figured a little end table would be perfect and lighting is a great way to kind of warm up your living room space and make it feel a lot more cozy. So if you guys have little spaces you don't know what to do with, I would definitely recommend adding like a floor lamp or you could add maybe a table lamp onto a side table, something like that. Um, but this lamp is like one of my favorite steals of this whole living room. It was $40 at Ross, you guys. I've seen lamps like this go for $150. So I know Target sells something very similar. This looked very Studio McGee to me and I had to grab that guy up. I was so excited when I bought that thing. So, um, and I love it because at nighttime, it just kind of adds that little bit of something extra. If you want to read a book or whatever, it just kind of makes the space feel cozy. So it's very very functional as well as decorative. So I got this little end table from Target. It was the Studio McGee collection. If you guys haven't seen it already, it still has a price tag on it. I need to take it off. But um, I really, really like this. And I think that the wood tone is beautiful. I think it looks very high end for being a Target piece. Um, the Studio McGee collection has a lot of items like this. And it's great that we can get our hands on such beautiful looking items for so cheap. I think that's a really great hack too if you guys are looking to take your living room up to the next level is definitely like look for these pieces at Target. They're very trendy, they're very beautiful, and um, they have Studio McGee's name on them. So that's pretty cool too. I will say the only downside is obviously everybody has it. That was one of my reservations about getting it, but then at the same time, I'm like, who cares? Nobody's gonna use it the exact same way that you do in your space. So make your home your own. And if you like the Target pieces and you think they're awesome, then go get them. As well as the table, I also got this really beautiful olive tree. It is part of the new Studio McGee Spring line, which just dropped online a couple of days ago. So I can link this for you guys. It was $50 and I think that this really does make a beautiful statement. Olive trees and olive branches are very in right now in decor. And I think that they really do just elevate the look of your space. So adding greenery is definitely a must and olive trees are one of my favorite things to incorporate. Um, I also got this really pretty statement candle from Home Goods. If you guys watch my Home Goods haul, this guy was $9. It actually is still a citronella candle, but I'm not planning on lighting this guy. Um, it is purely for decoration only and I think it just looks really high end and I can't believe I got it for $9. I think the price is still on there. It was on clearance. So it was normally a $20 candle. Um, and yeah, that's kind of this little corner here. Another thing I do just want to talk about is our curtains. So another really good hack if you guys are looking to make your living room seem more high end is definitely get curtains that 
hang almost at the ceiling. So um, that might mean you guys have to get a little bit of longer curtains. And I personally love to go to Ikea for curtains. It's just the best place around. It's so cheap. They have a crazy great selection. And I don't know, I just feel like you cannot get anything for that price anywhere else. And I love the look of these curtains. They're just very light and linen-y. I think we got a panel for $35 for two of them. And we also got like the top rods and hardware at Ikea as well. I really like the black and the white. I think that the contrast looks really great. Now I know it kind of seems silly. Why would I hang my curtains and not at my window, Jenna? That's just, it makes sense. Well, I'm telling you guys, it really elevates the look of your walls and makes your ceiling seem so much taller and it draws the eye up to the very top of the wall. So it makes your room feel a lot more grand and high end. If you are able to definitely hang your curtains as high to the ceiling as you possibly can. That is one of those things that I personally think makes the room look really grand and great. So I still have to shorten these curtains. They are a bit too long. Obviously I just want to show you guys the rough look at, of our living room, but yeah, these definitely need to be shortened, but it's a very easy quick fix, which I will show you in one of my upcoming videos that I'm very excited about. So we'll be doing that and let's move on to the mantle now. Okay, if you guys originally watched my Hobby Lobby shop with me, you would see that I put these um, little candlesticks on this mantle that I was so excited about. And while I think they looked really pretty, um, I did find that piece for my coffee table, the candle piece, and that was just a little too much candles all over the place. I think it kind of confused the eye and made it look a little bit too busy. So I kind of just kept this dough bowl here with these greenery stems placed in it. And I think that this is really like the simple elegance that I'm going for. It's just a little statement piece, but nothing too crazy. Just dresses up the mantle, but um, doesn't like distract from everything else going on in our living room. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me where I got this and it is actually from at home. I will link it below. It was was $32 so not too bad and then these stems were from Hobby Lobby they were from their Christmas collection so um, that is not available right now but I didn't think that they looked too Christmassy and I kind of like the look of them so I kept them in there I originally struggled a lot with this area because as you guys can see there's not a lot to work with from the TV to the mantle and obviously I'd love to put some beautiful vases down there or something but there that just wasn't an option with the limited space I have so I thought that this was a pretty good solution okay so moving on from the mantle we have this really pretty and like reading nook kind of corner area and I kind of tried to tie everything in with design as well as function so this is kind of like the reading chair and I kind of tried to tie in that with this little magazine holder down here but at the same time the little leather magazine holder brings out the accents of the leather pillows so it kind of draws your eye all over the space and you can kind of see that leather accent evenly distributed throughout the living room um, if you guys watched my home goods shop with me, you'd see that I got this guy for $17. It was actually from Marshalls, but you know, they all kind of sell the same stuff. I've actually seen this guy online, so I will see if I can link it down there for you guys. Um, but I really love the look of this. I think it looks very high end and the fact that I got it for $17 was pretty much crazy. So yeah, it just goes right down there. And I got this chair actually from home goods. Um, it was $500, which might seem like a lot, but if you guys look at swivel chairs this size um, online, the cheapest I saw was $800. So it was actually a really great price. And I love the look of this. I love the fabric on it. It's kind of that like light oatmeal color, which I feel like it's just very high end looking. So um, of course, this is our dog's favorite hangout spot, the one white piece of furniture in this whole living room. So um, it has a lot of black dog hair on it, but you know, I think it still looks really nice in this corner um, and it fits perfectly in this little spot by our fireplace. And then also we added this really pretty blanket ladder. So if you kind of like you want to cozy up by the fire with a book or whatever, you can just reach for a blanket here. So not only is that functional, but I think that this blanket ladder is really, really beautiful. It's not like those basic ones. I think it has a lot of character because of this beautiful like wood detail in it. And blanket ladders, I mean, I think they're a great way to kind of like make a blanket into decoration and just kind of like add a beautiful focal piece on the wall. So I really like that how this came out. I think that light wood kind of ties in with our coffee table and looks really great there. So I got this guy from Home Goods. It was $50. And then both of these blankets are also from Home Goods and they were both 20. Well, the bottom one was 20 and then the top one was $25. So 
Um, I always kind of like go to Home Goods for like my go-to pieces like pillows and blankets and stuff. They just have a great selection and I think they have really high end looking ones. So that's a great place to go if you're in need of blankets or you want to look for a blanket ladder because I have seen a lot of them there lately. I really, really like the look of them. I think they're functional and beautiful and a great way to dress up a little piece of wall that you just don't know what to do with. So um, yeah, that's that. Let's move on to like our little console table area now. So yeah, so we kind of had this like blank wall to play with and I wasn't sure what to do with it for a while and I bought this um, console table at TJ Maxx actually and I think that it's still available right now so I will link it below if I am able to but I just thought that this looked very like restoration hardware and it was only $150 which for a console table this long is a really great price. Um, it's actually a sofa table. So console tables are typically a little bit taller and sofa tables are a little bit lower, but I don't think that you really notice it here. Um, I think that it's a really perfect height for the space actually. So the original reason that I got this was because we do have like bigger, bulkier pieces of furniture. We have that really big, bulky L-shaped sectional. And then this piece in the corner here is also very large. So I didn't want to have a lot of bulky furniture because then that makes the room start to kind of feel like it's closing in on you and um, your eye kind of does need to travel through some space so it feels bigger and open and I like that the space underneath here was open and it made it feel not like a clunky piece of furniture uh, against the wall it kind of just feels light and just very decorative so I really really love how this looks I was originally going to put a basket or something under there but then that does kind of add some weight and clunkiness to it and I really do like how lightweight it looks so I decided to keep it like this um, as far as the styled items on top we have this really pretty urn from home goods this guy was forty dollars and you guys know I love olive branches back in Arizona there were so many olive trees so I would have just cut them from outside but we don't really have that luxury here in North Carolina so these are some fake ones but I feel like they still look very real and high-end they are from Hobby Lobby so um, I don't know how I got them because I've heard that these are always out of stock so I don't know how I found them in the store but I also got this little cute jug vase from Hobby Lobby as well. A lot of these things are in my Hobby Lobby or Home Goods hauls if you guys have watched those. But both of these books are from um, Marshalls. That is a really great place to look if you guys are in need of coffee table books. They have such a great selection, especially on their website actually. They have a way better selection than they do in store. Uh, I think both of these books are on their website right now, so if they are, I will link them below. I know I saw Homebody, I'm not sure about Down to Earth, but there are so many on there that go with so many different styles and are just like really pretty neutral books. So definitely check them out if you guys are looking for a reasonably priced uh, coffee table book. And then I made this really pretty decorative accent out of clay. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing another air dry clay video because I have so many fun ideas with this stuff and um, I think that it's a great cheap way to add high end looking decor to your space and it's something fun to do, especially while we're all still kind of at home. So um, that's what I did with that. And then this mirror is actually from Home Goods, and it was originally gold. And then I was like, you know what? I don't think the gold really goes with our room. I'm gonna spray paint it black. So I spray painted it black, and now I'm kind of having regrets. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think it looked better gold. So I have some gold spray paint ready to go, but let me know what you guys think. Do you like it black, or do you think that I should spray paint it back to gold? Um, I don't know. I, I bought it for its beautiful arched shape. I feel like this is a very unique piece. It adds some character to the room versus just having either a circle or a square mirror. I think it looks very Mediterranean and just kind of adds some really pretty lines to the room. Um, so I originally bought it for its shape and I wasn't sure what kind of color I was going to go with, but I did decide to go with the black because I thought it was you know, gonna play off a lot of the, our other accents in this room, but now that it's black, I'm kinda bummed it's not gold, so I don't know. Let me know, what do you guys think in the comments? Do you think I should go back gold, or do you like it black? I got this really pretty candle at Aldi. I'm really a big fan of these, like, big statement candles. I think they're really pretty, um, just to like, kinda, like, dress up any space. They're very neutral, and they're just kind of a cozy element to add to any kind of, like, styling of a table or anything like that. And then, I know a lot of you guys sleep on Tuesday morning, Get it? You sleep on Tuesday morning. Anyway, Tuesday morning had this really beautiful 
wooden bowl and it was only $12. I think Tuesday morning can have some really good finds if you're able to kind of like sift through and look. Um, but yeah, they have some really great price stuff and honestly their prices are typically cheaper than home goods. So um, that was a really good find I felt like. And then I made these really beautiful um, clay beads, but they look like stone. So if you guys can see, they are kind of like faux stone beads, but they're made out of air dry clay. These were super easy to make and I have a video on them. So I will link that here as well if you're interested in making something like this. All right, you guys, so that is it for my living room reveal. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing somebody else's space, maybe gave you a bit of inspiration. I really, really appreciate all of your comments and kind feedback. That really means a lot to me and I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and thank you guys again so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.